I wanted to show you two examples of kirikayashi. A kirikayashi is a short, strong, sharp move in response to a preceding move that looked strong. Uh, the first example is from a variation in the game Kato Yuria versus Miyaso, uh, played on April 19th of this year in the 64th Tendo uh, Sakura Festival, and this was Ningen Shogi. In Ningen Shogi, they use a very large board with people used as pieces. Uh, we're looking at this from White's point of view. After I ask a question, be sure to pause the video before proceeding. You get a lot more out of it if you try to figure things out before looking at the answer. Uh, let's begin. Uh, here, black had a shobute, followed by a kirikayashi. It's, so it would be 7-2 pawn. Attacking the attacking pieces. Okay, rook takes. And then 7-5 silver. This looks very, very strong. The rook's path is cleared to 6-1 and the gold is attacked, but white has an even stronger counter to it. Can you find it? Six seven knight with check. So what this does is it draws the rook up so that it can be attacked and white can defend and secure his attacking pieces with temple. Uh, if the gold takes, then it blocks the way of the rook and the gold falls. And if the rook takes, then, then what? Yes, yeah, six, six pawn. Okay, rook takes. And now 6-5 silver. Uh, instead of this, 6-5 uh, pawn also looks strong, but it allows black to nebari. Uh, sack the rook. And black can, can continue to resist. Although this is uh, still kind of better for white. Let's go back. So 6-5 silver. Uh, rook gets sacks and gets uh, two two generals. Okay, but then he can counterattack, or she can counterattack with seven seven pawn. Just returning some of the material for initiative. And white is winning this. Okay. Uh, let's go on to the next example. Okay. Uh, this one was between uh, Fukaura and Habu in the 76th A-Clash Juni Sen, uh, played October 25th, 2017. We're also looking at this from white side. Uh, let me show you the first few moves. Okay, so forcing the, the lance up, so you, just to weaken the edge and also make the lance vulnerable. Okay, skewering the, the rook and the silver. Okay, so now the, the bishop is pinned. Okay, so at, 
At the end of these moves, we see that the, both the rook and the silver are attacked. How does Habu deal with it? Okay, he took, took the pawn. Okay, so now the bishop is skewered. Uh, but then you might ask, can't black just play this rook check? You know, it's a fork. Ahabu had to see, foresee this before going into the line. But he found uh, a tactical counter that attacks and defends at the same time. Uh, what was Habu's idea? Eight one lance, a beautiful interposition. Uh, the key to this is that only one of the lances can be captured. So if he takes the one on nine six, then eight seven bishop you know, threatens, threatens a rook and also mate on 9-8. So in the game, he took the one on 8-1. Okay, pawn anchored gold. And you know, you know, white is completely winning, but I'll, I'll just show the final moves. Okay, this threatens eight eight silver or eight six silver. Uh, and now, if if the silver takes uh, six six gold. And then he takes the silver. Okay, let's go back. Uh, if the king takes, we have this Kasane Uchi. And then he's going to get mated. A 7 6 king, and then you drop the gold 7 5, or a 7 8 king, and then 8-7 silver promotes and 8-8 eight, eight promoted silver made. Uh, so 7-8 king. And then black resigned. Uh, if 9-8 king, then you just promote here and then Move to 8-8, eight, eight. is it going to be a mate? I have 7-8 king, same thing. Check and then mate on 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay. Uh, so one final remark about the position to note is that were the king on 2-2 two, two and the white pawn on 2-3, uh, this checking counterattack 9-1 uh, rook wouldn't wouldn't be possible. Uh, this is why it's easier to attack when the king isn't exposed, but sometimes in situations where it is, we have to calculate precisely and re resolve our problems tactically. Uh, with Kirikayashi, it's necessary to remain tactically alert and not simply play with inertia into what the opponent planned. Uh, calculate a bit deeper. Sometimes there's hidden tactics that turn the evaluation around. Uh, this is a trait notable in the great chess champion Adekin's play. Uh, that's it for for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. And uh, if you found that you benefited from this, please uh, consider supporting the channel with donations. You can uh, do that by clicking on the Streamlabs link down in the description. 
Donations are not necessary, but are also always welcome. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I'll see you again later. Bye.